With moms and dads out making a living, many of us spend a good part of our childhoods with our grandparents. They don't just spoil us, they can also lay the foundation for our futures, which was definitely the case with our guest chef for today, Sheldon Raju. Currently based in Cape Town, Sheldon first developed an interest in cooking while growing up in his hometown of Durban. Here he used to spend time with his grandfather who prepared meals for the community at a local temple. This fired his imagination and his interest became a passion that took him to the markets and eateries of India and eventually the kitchens of upmarket restaurants in South Africa. He's incorporated much of the knowledge he gained in Bangalore, Madurai and Mumbai in his own approach to cooking and the innovative personal style he's developed. I can't believe you started shopping without me. Zach, I couldn't help it. <laughs> uh, these ingredients are amazing, man. Um, what do you got in there? Oh, I got these amazing mangoes which are in season right now. These are coming from the Orange River. Uh, the people at Fargo have been amazing. They've hooked me up with some star anise, some cloves, fennel, you name Fresh it. Fresh curry leaves. Yeah, I know. Unbelievable, hey? Uh, you don't really see these in Cape Town. Beautiful fresh green, just some beautiful red chilies hidden in between there. Yeah, I'm quite excited. Uh, I can't You're wait to excited. get cooking. I cannot wait to see what we're going to cook up with all these amazing spices. Please, can we go? Yeah, let's go. Sheldon told me to take five while he gets some stuff ready in the kitchen and I jumped at the opportunity. But now I'm dying to find out what he's cooking. This is already a visual feast. What are we cooking up today? Uh, so we've got quite a feast up with her. Now for us, first up I want to start off with my Omar Samal Tarto. It's actually an Omar's recipe. Yeah, it is an Omar's recipe and uh, she was very sweet in sharing. This is about two cups here, just of uh, flour, just passed through a sieve. We're just going to pop that all in there. A teaspoon of sugar, just to help with the crust. I like a bit of sweetness in my crust. And what we're going to do then, is we're going to grate our butter. Why do we grate it? The idea that we grate the butter is so that it nicely flakes and puffs and pops open as it slowly bakes it in the oven. like a dream. <laughs> so this is approximately 250 grams. I'm okay. just going to save a little bit for us. And we're going to grease our tray over there. I'm just going to rub the butter into the flour here. How do you know when it's overworked? If you kind of see the outside of your pastry is no more looking beautiful and soft. It's kind of like looking oily and the oil is kind of separate. Kind of want it to be crumbly, kind of still free moving. Cool. There's two tablespoons of the baking powder in here, please. So the more you work it, the more you work the gluten and mm -hmm. that will, basically gluten gives it the strength in flour and wheat, you know. So, so the more you work it, the less crumbly it is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's, it's similar to uh, making potatoes and mashed potatoes. Okay. The more you work it, the more sloppy it becomes. So I'm just going to quickly pop this into the fridge. We're just going to let it rest for 45 minutes so it gets nice and cold again. Then we're going to roll it out and then we're going to line our tray here. So basically next we're going to start off with our filling. I'm just going to infuse mine in some cardamom and cinnamon. I'm going to pop it, my milk into my pot here. What I'm going to do is they're going to heat the milk up and then pour it over the egg yolks. And this is just basically creating a custard. We're just going to put about 100 grams of sugar into there. And then I'm going to need some cardamom. I'm just going to pop in about three little green cardamom mm. pods in there. It's also known as the queen of spices, so it's great that it's uh, it made its way onto the Mother's Day little feature. <laughs> I'm going to turn my induction on here and just slowly get this through the boil. So this has come up nicely to the boil, Zaki. What I'm going to do now is just let it cool slightly, just so it's a nice temperature. You still want it warm enough to cook the eggs, but you don't want it warm enough to make scrambles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I'm actually just going to ask you to give me a hand here and oh, whisk yeah? this in. Okay, start whisking. There we go, perfect. And I'm gonna gradually add that back into my ah. warm mixture. And then slowly start to thicken it out onto my stove here. And that's slowly gonna keep on cooking and that heat is just gonna be a little bit intense now. So we just wanna bring it down gradually and slowly. It's that easy? That easy. Uh, Zaki, while you're just busy there, enjoying the view, I'm just gonna roll out our pastry pop them into our tartlet tray. When you're rolling it down, just try to get it nice and even so it bakes even in the oven. I'm gonna gently just flip him over onto here and then peel back. I need to pop this into the oven. So while we're waiting on our crust, the crustaceans and mussels have uh, taken a little walk in. So what do you do? You just pull off the little hairs? Yep. This is known as a little beard. So you're just gonna grab onto this with your two fingers and you're gonna Yank him out. So if it's closed, it's fine? If it's closed, it's beautiful. It's okay. still alive. So I'm just going to go really quickly here. Just you get these out of the way. What next? 
So basically, Jack, what next? I'm just gonna get our crayfish ready. So what I've done with these beautiful creatures that uh, we caught up on the West Coast is that I'm just gonna butterfly it. Yeah, I'll leave this to you. And what you see, it, it kind of opens it up. I didn't go completely on the one side uh -huh. down. But what this does then, it allows our beautiful meat to stay moist mm. and still cook through perfectly. And we're gonna pop these veins into the dirt tray over here. If you find this nasty, you can always run it under a bit of water. I don't suggest that. I mean, the flavor is from the sea and you never should really mess with that. So those are all done. We're gonna pop him one side and then I'm gonna enhance our flavor with just the simple additions of spices. So in goes a little bit of my masala, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, judging by your heat, how much you want, you know, play it by ear. I'm gonna put in a good equal amount of my sumac as well. Mm -hmm. Over here, what I got is a bit of crushed garlic as well. So that just goes straight in there. We're just gonna mush this up here very, very gently. Mm -hmm. I got this beautiful butter. It was locally produced. I couldn't say no. The guy was just giving me more and more and I was just getting fatter and fatter. So <laughs> I, I brought her some along just to, you know, spoil us today on this beautiful show. Remember, we're gonna be coating our crayfish in here. Okay, in goes our beautiful mixture of garlic and spices. We're gonna turn our timer on for roughly about 12 minutes and then we're gonna turn our temperature up and he's gonna slowly start to heat up. I'm just gonna squeeze a, a nice little half of lemon juice that goes in there. The secret is not in the juice, but actually in the zest. I'm just gonna scrounge some in there. So while that's giving away, what I'm gonna do is just very gently just uh, get ready onto my muscle prep here as well. Most of you have had a rough day or just have a mother-in-law. What I suggest is just to buy some lemongrass and hack away. <laughs> and it maybe seems like I'm ruining this beautiful product, but actually what I'm doing is kind of just the flavor from it. I'm just gonna throw it on over here. Okay, great guys, so my butter is finished and this is what it looks like. All right, next, I'm gonna get our little tray here ready. Okay. And then we're gonna Pop those that crayfish so in. Big. Like this, like this. Yeah, perfect. Oh, Squeeze him on there. And then we're gonna just get some nice little bit of salt on here. Alright, next. And then I'm just gonna lather it on here. Mm. So yeah, we're gonna pop them on. Alright, oh, great. So these are on our grill. All right, Zaki, we're just gonna finish off the mussels really quickly. What we got here is some ginger and some garlic that's just gonna add some flavor. And this nice little chunks of the ginger in there. I kind of use it with skins and everything. It adds just more flavor. You wanna help me just toss that in sure. there? Yeah, all at once, really quick. Perfect, that's it. I'm gonna quickly cover it now. So you steam it in the coconut milk? Yeah. Oh. Coconut milk, lemongrass, ginger, garlic. I'm just gonna come back and pop it onto our really steaming hot heat here and turn the heat up. Awesome, our crayfish is looking as well. So while my mussels are steaming away, I'm just gonna quickly make a little salsa for our crayfish here. Okay. Zaki, what I'm gonna use is that beautiful uh, mango that we got earlier part from the market. Oh. And we're just gonna give a little drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and then a little dash of the chili so it comes through as well. So and some basil, and it's just gonna add a little flavor to the base there. What we're gonna do is just gently place this over our crayfish. Those flavors work great, the papaya, the pineapple, and the mango together. Just such great tropical fruit, and you know, we're so blessed to find them in our country as well. Oh, Zaki, our mussels look beautiful, hey? Pop open our lid. Look how those have opened. So what I do is I just move the first top open ones, pop it into this beautiful bowl, and it just makes it a bit more easier for me to have a look. What I'm gonna do next is just slowly also just add some more basil fresh coriander into this mixture as well. And that will stay nice and warm, and ready to be delivered to our guests at the table, wherever you are. Sheldon, this all looks absolutely fabulous. I can't wait to try all of it. So Zaki, I know you couldn't wait. Uh, I popped the milk tart into the oven. Uh, came out now, it's beautiful as you can see. And this. And this is the mussels uh, that we steamed so gently. Sheldon, do we get to taste? Yes, yes, let's go for it. Just pull it out? Yeah, pull it out, pull use it your fingers, use the shell. I can do that. Very really good. 
This is absolutely divine. So worth the wait. Oh, thank you, Zaki. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much for spoiling us and all the mummies out there. Oh, it's silly. It's been uh, not a problem at all.